Welcome to the Greg Martin Show, featuring the 1993 Southeastern Louisiana University Baseball Lions, the defending champions of the Trans-American Athletic Conference. We'll be right back after these commercial messages with your host, Benny Latino, and Southeastern head baseball coach, Greg Martin. Hi, I'm John Fred of John Fred and the Playboys. And I'd like to invite you to come out to Bill Hood Automotive and see this area's largest selection of luxury conversion vans. Bill Hood has vans of all colors, styles, and are all loaded with extras like color TV, Nintendo, VCRs, and much, much more. It's the only full-size van on the market with a driver's side airbag and anti-lock brakes. A great selection. So take it from me, John Fred. Bill Hood Automotive in Hammond is your conversion van headquarters. In today's judicial system, in all too many cases, it's the victim who is the forgotten and mistreated party. As your judge, I'll see to it that the rights of the victims are protected and are treated fairly and with respect. On April 3rd, let's return the rights to the victims. Please vote for me, Douglas Curet, District Court Judge. Welcome to another edition of the Greg Martin Show. I'm your host, Benny Latino. Alongside of me is the coach, Coach Greg Martin. Coach, last week at this time you were 17 and 5. Now you're 20 and 6. It all started with a good weekend up at Sanford. All right, Ben. We played well in San at, in Birmingham against Sanford. Though we won our first two games, played very well. The first game we um, had one or two tough innings where we didn't play very well defensively. But those first two games we played quite well. Um, it was a tough loss. The third game is a shame that we gave that game away. We didn't play poorly. It's just uh, our relief pitchers that game didn't get it done. Well, Coach, you had a a couple of good guys that hit the ball extremely well. Uh, Murray Douglas had a good series. Kevin uh, Milligan and, and Jeff Motes, they all swung the bat pretty well. All right, well, you know, we were worried when Chris Finley went out with the injury, but we felt confident that Murray would come in and do a job. We uh, had planned on Murray and Milligan filling in for, um, for Chris at first base, and Murray had a great weekend at Sanford. And Sean Gates just keeps rolling on. He's improved his record to 6-0 now. He, it, this guy seems to get better every time he goes out. Well, we've talked about him every week, and uh, as you say, he's 6-0, and and he's pitched well enough week in and week out to get the win for us, and that's why we choose him to throw that conference game each week. Coach, the first two ball games you won 15-4 and 14 nothing. Then you had a loss 7-8 uh, to Sanford. What happened in this baseball game? Well, uh, as one of those games, uh, that we had a 6-2 lead going into the fifth inning, and uh, Carl Schultz, our starter, lost it. Uh, walked to eight, nine hole hitters on, I think, eight or nine pitches, and then we went to the pen. And for the really for the first time this year, our bullpen let us down. Uh, you know, they've pitched well all year, and they've been a big part of us having 20 wins right now. So you know, it's going to happen. Some day, some days they're going out there and not get the job done. That just happened to be one of those times. Well, last night you completed a sweep of the New Orleans powerhouses, UNO and, and Tulane, in dramatic fashion as Drew Nettles hit another extra inning home run to win the baseball game. Well, Drew's done a great job for us, and it was a nice win for us. Um, but UNO's uh, struggled at times this year. They have a great hitting ball club. Uh, they've struggled uh, on the mound, as you know, and it was a great win for us, especially that's, I th I'm sure that's the first time in Southeastern history they've swept the New Orleans teams, Tulane and UNO. Well, that's a complete four-game sweep of, of both teams, and I know you have to feel good about winning both those games. Last night, we, we saw a, a bunch of pitchers enter the baseball game. You used, uh, I think, about six pitchers last night. Well, that was, you know, not by design. It was situation-type things, trying to match up left-handed pitchers against left-handed hitters and just trying to uh, match up uh, the strength of, of our labors against the weaknesses of uh, UNO's hitters. Um, we won some of those battles, and we also, as you know, lost some of those battles because they did score nine runs. But, you know, for a guy to sit here, we gave up nine runs, but, you know, basically our guys didn't throw that poorly. I mean, they, we gave up four home runs. We made bad pitches in those situations. I think that accounted for maybe the home runs counted for probably seven of the nine runs. And, uh, but, you know, they pitched well enough to keep us in the game. And, uh, as you know, Drew kept us close and Drew hit the home run to win it in the 10th inning. I think the media is about to label this uh, Southeastern baseball team as possibly the cardiac kids. They always seem to find a way to win it in dramatic fashion at the end of the baseball game. You know, the, you know, the personality of this team is a lot like last year's team. Of course, I know it's a lot of the same players, but uh, I tell the people who come watch us play, uh, 
It doesn't matter how uh, big of a lead we have or how far we're behind. Stay to the last inning because we have a knack for making it close one way or the other. And like we said earlier, once again, Drew Nettle stepped up to the plate just as he did three weeks ago against Tulane in the 10th inning to hit a home run to, to win the ball game. That's his seventh home run of the, of the year. All right, well, you know, you got to, you know, Drew hit the home run and went up, but you got to give the guy, the whole team, a lot of credit for battling back. We came back, Drew hit a, a grand slam in the, you know, I think in maybe the fifth inning or so to, to put us up 8 7. But you got to give Steve Saravalo right. credit and Ray Ferran credit. Those two guys came off the bench, and if it wouldn't be for those two guys, you know, we wouldn't have been in a situation to hit a, a home run in the last in, in the 10th inning to win the game. Coach, was there any doubt in your mind that, that y'all were going to send, uh, send Ray Ferran when he hit third base and the ball out in the outfield? Well, there was no doubt in my mind because with two outs, you know, in fact, I came out the dugout and I wasn't standing, I was only standing probably 10 feet from Coach Brechtel when he was, you know, sending him home and I was hollering, send him, you know. I, well, you know, it's tough to, with two outs, it's tough to try to wait for that two out hit and you got a chance, you got to apply pressure and hope, make the defense, you know, you know, those defense make a play to beat you and, and they didn't come up with the play. And right now we've got an interview from last night's baseball game with Drew Nettles. Here we are with the star of the game, Drew Nettles. And Drew, these late inning heroics are starting to get a, become a little bit of a habit. Earlier in the year you hit a home run to beat Tulane. Here tonight you hit a late inning home run to beat UNO. Well, uh, I'm just come up in a situation in the last few innings and uh, hit the ball hard and just hoping to get on base and uh, hit the ball out of the park. And uh, it's just something, not trying to do it, just a lucky streak right now, I guess. You caught 10 innings tonight. How was it? Were you tired in the late innings or what? No, uh, the game was hot tonight. We thought it was going to rain, but it was real humid tonight. And uh, the game wasn't going too well at first for me. I thought I was having a real bad game. and I was just real down. And uh, just a couple hits, it was all right, but still wasn't a real good game. You know? Sorry. Well, Drew, thanks a lot for joining us, and uh, good luck to you this weekend. Thank you. Thank you. And, Coach, in two games that you've played, you and I have had combined uh, runs scored of 51. Well, to, to say the least, there were some great offensive games. Uh, it's really not the kind of games that I like. Cause, you know, I've always been a, a guy that likes pitching and defense, and uh, those weren't your typical pitching and defense games. Well, Coach, maybe if you can keep your run total up and theirs down, it'll be a lot easier for you and a lot less stress on stress on the old heart. Thing. Right. I'd rather win them. You know, let's win them 10 to 3 or something like that. Those 10-9 games are tough. And we'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Coming up after this timeout, Mark Willoughby chats with Hammond Tire and Rim Player of the Week, Murray Douglas. Hammond Tire and Rim for all your foreign and domestic automobile repairs. Shock absorbers, wheel alignments, lifetime wheel balancing, tune-ups, complete brake service, lubrication and oil change, and also air conditioning service. Go by and see Big Joe or Little Joe at Hammond Tire and Rim or call them today at 345-7917. And now we're here joined with our Hammond Tire Southeastern Lion Player of the Week, Murray Douglas. Murray, a couple of weeks ago you were our senior profile segment, and at that time we discussed your move from the outfield to first base, a move to help the ball club. Chris Finley goes down with a broken hand. You're inserted into the lineup. You have a big week in this weekend against Sanford. You go six for eight with six RBIs. Well, I guess the move kind of paid off, I guess, in the long run. Yeah, it was kind of unfortunate for Chris to go down like, uh, that way. Uh, uh, it's just an unfortunate thing, you know, and uh, I guess it just, uh, I just had to step in and do the job. I've been working there all year, and uh, I guess the hard you know, perseverance paid off, and I had a pretty productive weekend this weekend. Right now, you, you stand at 20-6 and six on the season. Tuesday night, you had a big win against UNO, a uh, come from behind win, extra inning win. You have a big, another big conference series coming up this weekend against the Mercer Bears. What are you looking for out of Mercer? Well, I, uh, I don't really know too much about Mercer's that uh, uh, Centenary swept them three games. And, uh, you know, I, we, didn't hear, we didn't know too much about uh, Georgia State, and they came in here and beat us that third game. You know, uh, anything can happen. And uh, we, we're having, uh, you know, a little bit of problems there in our last and final games. We'll have a doubleheader. Uh, hopefully we can turn things around this weekend. I know we got the personnel to do that. And, uh, you know, we just uh, – I think we're like a bomb ready to explode. I think uh, this weekend we're going to uh, – I think uh, our time's going to come. And now joining us is Joe LaCara, owner here at Hammond Tire and Rim, who pre will present Murray with the Player of the Week plaque. Thank you. Murray, uh, the staff and crew here at Hammond Tire and Rim would like to um, thank you for your achievement and present you with this plaque for a Player of the Week. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And now we're joined by 
a couple of players from Australia, a few boys from down under, Scott McDonald and Jeff Williams. First of all, guys, I want to ask you, how did you hear about Southeastern Louisiana University down in Australia? Well, uh, we actually had a coach back home, and uh, he coached at UNO before, and he told us about uh, Southeastern, and, and he pretty, pretty much got us in touch with uh, Coach Martin and uh, the university, and, and he pretty much got us over here. Scott, what was it like when the first time you had a chance to talk to Coach Martin over the telephone? Um, well, from what I can remember, it was, it was very early in the morning because of the, uh, the time difference, but um, he, sounded, he sounded really excited, and we were excited to come play because it was, it was a great opportunity. So um, that's really all I mean. We, we were both excited and just, just uh, happy to have the chance. Fellas, what's the, what, what's the difference in, 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 the, in the game of baseball between Australian baseball and American baseball here? Oh, well, it's it's a lot tougher over here, Benny. Uh, Australia, you know, we're, we're getting better, but it's just, I guess you've had that many more years experience, that many more players, you know. When, when the guys start out, they're starting out real young here, and there's a lot a lot more talent, a lot more coaches, you know. We just need a few more years, and, and Australia will be, you know, get, getting a lot better. So. Both of you guys uh, received red shirts last year. You're a hardship due to early arm injury, and you received a red shirt last year, Scott. What would, did you use that year as a transition period to get used to not only America but, but college baseball? It was a it was a, a a really good opportunity. You know, looking back, I'm glad I had the chance to to get a red shirt because uh, I learned a lot in that year. And coming over, I, I thought I was probably maybe a year or e even a couple of years behind the players who were starting over here. And I got a chance to play behind uh, Johnny Castanon, and I learned a lot from him and and other players. And now this year, I'm I'm getting a chance to play a little bit, and I, I think it was good that I sat out that year. What about you, Jeff? I know you, you started a couple games last year, and then you received an early arm injury, and uh, it's always tough to come back from arm injuries, and a lot of rehabilitation and things like that. So do you have time to refocus yourself? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's always hard coming back from injury. You don't know what to expect, you know, how things are going to go, you know, whenever you come out, you know. But uh, you just got to make the most of it, you know, go out there and do your best. I mean, I'm just trying to get better with each start. I mean, I'm not quite back to where I was whenever I first came here, but you know, I'm getting better with each outing, I think. So. Well, Jeff, you're three and one right now this, at this point, and uh, you've had a couple of no decisions, but basically the season's going pretty good for you thus far. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I've started seven games so far, and uh, I have like the second most amount of innings pitched on the team. So, I mean, I can't complain with the amount of time I'm getting, but uh, I'm just not don't seem to get the decisions. You know, I come out of the game too early, or you know, I come out, we're down, we end up winning the game. I come out, we're ahead, we, you know, we end up tying the game, and then somebody else gets a decision. But and that's that's baseball. I'm I'm just worried that, that the team gets the win. That's all you know. We have to worry about. So. And Scott, you you've you've got a, a few starts this year and played quite a bit, and. Then, I know this is something that surprised you a little bit, but but you're progressing ball game to ball game. Yeah, it's it's good. I've I've gotten to face a lot of good pitching, and it's it's hard facing that good pitching because I, I'm really not used to it. But um, you know, the more at bats I get, you know, I'm starting to uh, feel a little more comfortable in the box and stuff. It's coming along pretty well. What do you see in upcoming years here at Southeast? And do do you like it over here in, in South Louisiana? I really like it. I like the climate and stuff like that. It's it's a lot like back home. The people are really friendly. You know, I've I've uh, found it real easy to fit in. The players, you know, the coaches. It's it's great. I like. It. I I think uh, I think I'll be here. You know, and and see out uh, see out my eligibility at Southeast. And, and Jeff, how do you like it here in Hamlet? Oh, I, I love it here, Benny. Uh, I'm having a great time. You know, it's just great to, to play ball and and go to school. I mean. Back home, we'd probably be working, you know, or something like that back home right now. It's pretty hard to go to school back home, you know, and getting the opportunity to play ball and go to school, you know. We're just having a great time, you know. I, I see myself playing for as long as I can. You know. Well, fellas, I'd like to thank you all for joining us here, and I wish both of you all good luck throughout the rest of this year and, and the rest of your years here at Southeast. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. All right. Coming up after these commercial messages, baseball tips of the week with Lion assistant coaches Johnny Brechtel and Mark Gosnell. Mickey's Sports Bar, located right across the street from the SLU campus. Head over after any SLU game to catch all the action on the big screen TV. Featuring pool tables, basketball, AP wire, and more. That's Mickey's Sports Bar in Hammond. Dave's Carpet. For a complete line of carpet, blinds by Levelor, and Armstrong vinyl flooring. And always, 90 days, same as cash. Go by and see Crazy Dave in Hammond, or call 
D-A-V-E. Tallow Tire and Automotive. Go visit David Tallow and the friendly staff at Tallow Tire, a full-service Goodyear Automotive Center, offering 24-hour road service and ASE certified technicians. Tallow Tire and Automotive, 201 South Kate Street in Hammond. Photography Shop for the best in men's and women's apparel, featuring Tommy Hilfiger, Hart, Schaffner and Marks, Drabo, and Nautica, with three locations to serve you best: downtown Hammond, Hammond Square Mall, and the North Lake Shopping Center in Mandeville. Photography Shop. My name is Coach Brechtel, Southeastern Baseball. Today I have with me Corey Boudreau from Houston, Texas. Today we're going to go over eye contact and hitting. Uh, hitting is one of the most difficult skills to master in sports right now today. What we want to do, Corey, is I want you to get up in your stance. Right now, we, we, we work on at Southeast and is getting our hitters in a stance. And at the, the initial thing is they're picking up the hitter's release point. So Corey's zoning in right now on the pitcher's release point. Okay? When Corey starts his bat, we want his eyes zoned in on the pitch and his chin on his front shoulder. Okay, when Corey starts his swing and goes into it, his chin's gonna go from one shoulder to the next. It's not gonna move, it's just that when he rotates his shoulders, the back shoulder's gonna come onto his chin. Okay, Corey, go through one swing. Okay, as you can see there, his head did not move. Go back in. His head does not move, it goes from one shoulder to the next. One more time. Okay. One of the biggest problems I see with youngsters today is when they do start their bat, their front, their front shoulder and their head, it flies out. Okay, let's show flying out, Corey. He'd start his bat, his front shoulder, and his head flies out. Okay, at this point right now, Corey is not looking in on a baseball. Okay, you, you, you're going to miss the baseball if, you, if you're not using your eyes to hit. So let's show him one more time the proper technique. Starts his bat and he goes from shoulder to shoulder with his head right there and his head's down on contact. This is one little tip that uh, make you youngsters a su successful hitter. If you can practice this, you can practice it on your own time. You don't need anybody to work with you. And all it is is simple movement of the shoulders and keeping your head down on contact. Better deal on a cellular phone than the sale now going on at Northlake Cellular in Hammond. Get a Motorola tote just $69.95. Or this Motorola transportable with a three-year warranty, just $145.95, battery included. How about this Motorola handheld for $145.95? Plus great deals on airtime. But act fast, the sale ends April 21st. North Lake Cellular, across from the post office. Hi, I'm John Fred of John Fred and the Playboys. And I'd like to invite you to come out to Bill Hood Automotive and see this area's largest selection of luxury conversion vans. Bill Hood has vans of all colors, styles, and are all loaded with extras like Color TV, Nintendo, VCRs, and much, much more. It's the only full-size van on the market with a driver's side airbag and anti-lock brakes. A great selection. So take it from me, John Fred. Bill Hood Automotive in Hammond is your conversion van headquarters. Coach, you got a tough upcoming week, three game set, conference set, I should say, with Mercer this weekend. You're seven and two in conference right now. They're 0 and five, but that may be a little deceiving. Well, Benny Wright, it's very important that we play well this weekend because Centenaries, you know, who's seven and four right now, uh, they're playing very well right now. They've uh, they went to Mercer and swept them. They swept Sanford at home, so. They're on a hot streak right now, and their pitchers are throwing very well. Uh, it's important that we go out and get our job done this weekend. Coach, who are you going to start starting these conference games on the mound? It's the same basic rotation you've been starting week in and week out? It'll be the same. Uh, Jeff Williams will open up Friday. Then Sean Gates and Carl Schultz will throw the doubleheader Saturday. Coach, then you're off Sunday. 
and you got to get ready for a tough interstate rival northeast Louisiana. Right, uh, we play Northeast Monday night at home, and uh, that'll be a tough game for us, especially coming after a tough three-game set against Mercer. Then you turn around and hit the road and go to Mobile and play always tough, I should say, South Alabama. They're about 15-5 and five at this point. Right, South Alabama, you know, year in and year out there in the NCAA regionals, they were uh, one of the better clubs we'll play this year, and uh, that's always tough. And we've always struggled against South Alabama. I think we're going to match up pretty well with them this year. Then the next day, you're back home against Southern Miss, a Metro Conference team that's been playing pretty well this year. Uh, same as uh, South Alabama, they're always a tough opponent for us. They're a quality team that, again, a team that's always in the NCAA regionals or right there uh, close to it. And, uh, it's always a tough game. We always have great games against Southern Miss. Well, Coach, that's going to be about it here this week. Thanks again. And we'll see you here next week on the Greg Martin Show.